I'm so glad you're joining me today. We're taking a look at No Other Name by Planet Shakers. It's a great song. Well, I want to help you out if you're wanting to learn this. It's in the original key of D flat. It may not be your favorite key. So I want to give you some guides, some helps here. So let's start on the verse. So we have a G flat chord and there's a number two beside that. That's because the tune is on A flat, which is not a member of the G flat chord. So I want to put the A flat at the top, the name of Jesus. That's where the tune is. So let's spell that as B flat, D flat, A flat in the right hand. The left hand, I'll take the name of the chord, G flat, and then I'll put the fifth of the chord with it. So, the name of Jesus is greater. There's your D flat chord, D flat, F, A flat, over F, as the chord chart will show you. And then we go on to the B flat minor chord. B flat, D flat, I'm gonna go ahead and put the A in there again, because that's the, still the tune. The name of Jesus is strong. And you can do that A flat 2 coming up, B flat, E flat, A flat. I just opt to leave the C, the third of the chord, out. Okay, so that's going to repeat again on the third line of the verse. So let me go through that once more. So, the name of Jesus is greater. And then, the name of Jesus is stronger. All right, moving to the next line. So we have the name of Jesus is high, same G flat two chord. Name of Jesus is high, D flat over F. And then we end with an A suspended four. So we're gonna spell that as D flat, E flat, A flat. So that means again, I'm leaving out the third of the chord C in favor of the fourth note, D flat. High, so, uh, or be high, high above all things. And then we're gonna have two little chord bumps here. So it's an E flat minor seven. And then the singers come in, the name of Jesus. So those two chords would be E flat minor seven. I'm gonna just spell that all right together. B flat, D flat, E flat, G flat. All flats. And then we'll put D flat over F. We're familiar with that one, of course. Okay, the third line, as I mentioned, is the same as the top. The name of Jesus is bigger. And you can actually do that D flat over F again if you'd like. The name of Jesus has power. There's that A flat too. And the last line, the name of Jesus is high above all things. And then here's that suspension. So you can do things. There's just something. So on the recording, it sounds more like they're doing a lining out of the melody here going into the chorus. So if you want to follow that, you can. It would be A flat, B flat, D flat, E flat, and then they touch on that F natural. So there's just something about the name if you're just lining out the tune. The left hand would still need to play the E flat. It's supposed to be an E flat minor chord. So if you did it with the melody, there's just something about you would do it in that fashion. If you just want to play the E flat minor chord there, then you can play the one that we just talked about in the verse. There's just something about like that. Okay, so there's two ways to do that beginning of the chorus, and we move on to about D flat over F, right back to that G flat two. They really like these two chords, so you get a lot of mileage out of them. The name D flat over F of Jesus. Okay. Now at the end of the first line, if you're interested, um, you'll hear that the keyboard has a fill there, a little melodic fill. That the keyboard just jumps up and plays the notes. D flat, C, and then B flat, F. D flat, C, B flat, F. So I'm kind of pulling my thumb up here on the F so I can reach, because I'm in all of these kind of black keys. So my whole hand is shifted forward. And so when you put it in context, um, the end of that first line of G, So if you play that and hold the pedal, there's just something about, it leads right into the next line. The name, same chords, and then we go to B flat minor, Jesus, and resolve it to A flat this time. So that gives you some interesting things to do, dealing with all those flat chords, and then one little fill that you hear on the recording, you're welcome to add that in there. Verse two, same as the first. And then moving on, we have two bridges, not one, but two. And interestingly enough, they elect to stay close by to that A flat. So we're gonna go, Jesus, name above all names. Heal, you hear that?
that A flat just repeating. One who takes all pain. Okay, so we have on the first set, Jesus' name above all names, we have B flat minor seven. I'm gonna spell it B flat, D flat, A flat. And then, so left hand, I'm gonna play the B flat and the fifth of the chord that I left out over here in the right hand. Jesus name. The right hand actually doesn't change on the G flat too. The way I voiced it is exactly the same in the right hand. You just change the left hand bass. So Jesus and left hand for the G flat move down, G flat and D flat. Name above all names. That A flat chord is easiest if you spell it as C, E flat, A flat. So then you don't move the first two chords, and then the third chord, the A flat stays the same on the top. That's kind of your anchor there, and you just shift the hand up a little bit to reach that C and E flat. So that's the um, that would be my suggestion to make it easier. You have a two chord bumps here, a D flat suspended. So I'm gonna spell that. Um, I think I'll do that as D flat, E flat, A flat. Again, that A flat's everywhere. So it's a D flat suspended two, I'm leaving out the three. And then I just take that D flat and go down half a step to C and boom, C, E flat, A flat, that's an A flat chord. And then the left hand, the same process, in this case, D flat and just slide the thumb down, or excuse me, the pinky down this time. It is an A flat over C split chord, so it's okay easy enough. All right, healer starts the same B flat, minor with the seventh on the top. Healer, same pattern, G flat, one who takes all pain. You can stay there. And then save your B flat, risen from the grave. Here's that D flat over F. You remember that one? Your name is Jesus. So I'm just gonna assume that B flat minor will have the seventh as well. So your name, D flat over F, your name is Jesus, G flat. And then Lord over, so I can make that B flat, D flat, A flat again, spelling the same as the G flat to just change the left hand. Lord over all. So really, if you learn that first set of chords, Jesus' name above all names, that first part of the bridge, you pretty much just recycle it for every set of lyrics there. So Jesus' name above all names, one set. You do the little fill chords, and then you're right back to where you started. Healer, the one who takes all pain. Savior, risen from the grave. Your name is Jesus, Lord above all. So you find lots of familiar friends there. And then they go straight into the second bridge. Uh, it on the recording so let's go on to Jesus so same position that G flat chord Jesus and then Jesus the left hand will just walk up a step it's not a split chord there and then Jesus keep the A flat on the top no other name no other name so G flat A flat B flat you see in here in the bass clef it's a walking pattern there Okay, so if you've listened to Planet Shaker's version of this, you'll hear that there's a little fill there. If you're playing with the band, you would obviously let the aux keys play this, but if you're playing alone, you can elect to do this uh, at the main keys. So at the end of the each word, of, or the, the name of Jesus, Jesus. So they have kind of a string setting that does D flat, C, B flat, A flat. And it sounds like it's in a higher range about up here. So um, you can do it really wherever you'd like and whatever's most comfortable is what I would suggest. So if you might wanna go, Jesus, that sounds good. Or you could do G, same position. You still have to shift to get all those notes in unless it gets a little uncomfortable. So Jesus, and I'll go, Jesus, and then Jesus, Jesus, no other name, no other name. So that's one thing that you could add in, or if you have the band, then you'll definitely let the ox keys do that. Um, some folks might like to line out the melody there and no other name, no other name, like Jesus, and wrap it back around on the repeat. Jesus, Jesus, no other name, no other name like. So you 
kind of some options there of, of what you'd like to do. Um, and then on the introduction, I'm kind of doing this backwards, but now that we know these chords we've been speaking of, the introduction is really just that first line of the course that we do. So they harmonize the first chord instead of it being an E flat minor seven, they do it as a G flat there, and they line out the melody. The keyboard does the A flat, B flat, D flat, E flat, just something. You could add that G flat, just something about. There's your D flat over F. So I'm not actually playing a full G flat chord there. And in fact, the chart says six because that's where the melody ends up. There's just something about. So that's G flat six. So that's what they're talking about there. So um, I would just play the root there in the left hand and line out the melody. Some, just something about the name of Jesus. And you can do that little fill there, D flat C, B flat F. It's a nice filler because it just kind of holds there for a bit. So one more time from the beginning of the introduction. And there's just something about, I'm sorry, do it again. There's just something about the name of Jesus. They repeat it. There's just something about the name of Jesus. That it resolves to that A flat. So that's a general idea. Um, I think I might have been just a tad bit off on the timing, but when I sing, sometimes I lose track. But those are the chord progressions. So we're basically just borrowing from the chorus and putting that into, introdu into the introduction. So the big thing, as I said, that's changing is instead of starting as we did on the chorus with an E flat minor seven, we harmonize that with a G flat. And so we do it as an E flat on the chorus. All right, so that takes us through the verses, the chorus, both of the bridges, and even how to do the introduction. So I'm hoping that'll give you some good feedback, some good thoughts. This is great to play with if you have a, a band in its entirety. Um, there's a lot of the electric guitar that comes in on the introduction and throughout. But for our purposes today, we're just working on what are the chords and some of the most obvious feels that we can do at the keyboard. All right, I hope you enjoy No Other Name.